Hello, hello friends. In the video of today, we're going to see how to assign people to teams randomly. Sometimes you have a very big risk to have a very big number of people and we just want to make groups. And this task is very difficult. How to do it once we just want to assign people groups or teams in a very short time using Microsoft Excel. Here you see I have a list of, of different people and I just want to show you how to assign to assign teams to these uh, to, the, to these people in a very short time using Microsoft Excel. Here we'll just need to use some functions, some Excel functions that is land from uh, that means random rank and sailing. To make this one very easy, I just want to make a table first of all. I just put my cursor here and I click on Ctrl T. Ctrl plus T, this is a shortcut to make table. And I click enter, make sure that your table has header. You check here. I click OK and here I have a table. And here let me type a different function that I'm just going to use. I'm just first of all going to use a land function. This is a random. Apart from random, I'm just going to use lank. That is lanking. And now I'm just going to group. That is grouping. That is grouping. And now finally, I just want to put here teams. I can just here, I just, I just want to you to see everything. Let me do it this way. And now I'm just going to use, uh, to start by using land or landom. Yeah, this is a function that is going to help us to just to have uh, to have numbers that that are between one uh, zero and one, I put here equal sign land. I open parenthesis and close parenthesis and I hit enter. And the problem the problem with this function is that it changes in time I click anywhere in the sheet. Once I click anywhere in the sheet, these, these numbers are just, going to go in, are just going to change. That's why I'm just going to copy those, these numbers. I'm going to copy these numbers. I click on copy and I go to paste special to have those numbers, uh, uh, to allow those numbers not change. Let me just copy values. I copy values and I click OK. Now the numbers are copied. I'm just going to lank these numbers. There is a video that I've made that I've made where and how to use the function lank. I'm just going to type equal sign lank. I open parenthesis. I click on this number because it is in the table. I have made a table you see here random. And as you see here, there's a number reference and order. Here I put a put a comma. A reference is the whole uh, the whole quorum or the whole list of people in in the list. Here I cross parenthesis and I hit enter. Now here the numbers are are just linked. We have just used this function lank. So that we just we, we we have our groups here the 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 maximum number here is thirty nine because he have uh, have a list of thirty nine people and now the people are linked according to the random number now grouping I'm just going to take this lank the the numbers in the in this column of lank and divide the number of the group that I want, the group size. How many groups do I want to form? How many people I just want in the 
group. Let me now here define a group size. In the group size, we're just going to put the number of people that I want in the group. Let me, for example, put uh, five. Maybe I just want to make a group where each group will have five people. What am I going to do? I'm just now, now going to, to type here equal sign in the grouping. I want, I'm just going to take the rank and divide it and divide it with this number number of people in in uh, uh, number of, of just the number of the people that I want in the team i divide this number see what's going to happen once i click once i once i hit enter here there is a problem because this number must be referenced there is a video that i have made about relative cell reference. I put my cursor here to make this core this uh, this cell. I just want to lock this formula. I just want to lock this cell. To lock the cell, we use Dora sign. I lock error and one the number of the, the quorum number and the row number and I hit enter. Now see it is working. Make sure you you just you have just locked the the cell before you just you continue. Now teams. Now have random numbers, have ranking, have grouping, and now I'm just going to define the team of each member. How to define the team of each member? I'm just going to use the function sailing. I put here equal sign. I type sailing. And you see it here. You can click on it. And which number? I choose the number in the grouping. And then here I need to put a significance. The significance here you put one. You put one. And then I hit enter. And now you see the groups of all people. Here you can just now define the group of everyone. Now everyone has a group. You see here there, is, there are people in group four. You can just find others in the group four again. And group four. And remember that here the group size is five. If you need any time, once you just need to change the group size you can just change it now how to identify the people in a group in each group i can just now filter that's why we made a table i can filter i can filter in this quorum of teams once i just click here and you can see i have 80 groups where each group has five people once i deselect here I can just here click on one to identify the people or to filter the people in the first group. Once I click OK, you can now here see I have how many? One, two, three, four, five. I have five people in group one. And I can just now copy those people. Uh, that I can just now copy the names and paste it anywhere just where I just want to, yeah, to make a list of groups. Or I can just print out this group and clean some columns here. I can just delete this column and this one. Are those three columns? And I stay with the teams where everyone will just see the group to which he is all he is assigned. I can now here click clear the filter. Once I just need people in group two. I just click here, just to check T, uh, check this box of two and click OK. You can now see here the group that uh, the, the, the group two members. This is a very simple way to make groups once you have a large, a large group of people.
Imagine once you have 1,000 people and you just want to make groups, it will just be difficult for you. But Excel will just help you to make it very easy. Once I change this number, group size, maybe I put four. Once I put four, you can see here the people, the, the, the number of, of group members change. Here the number changes. Each group, you can see. Now the big number here is 10. The number of groups increase as you just use, uh, as you reduce the cross, uh, the, the, the group size. I can here put a six. You can see everything changes. And remember that to make this possible, we have just used land function, lank function, and sailing function to teams. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and this video is going to help you very much and keep subscribing to my YouTube channel to get notified once a new video is uploaded. See you next time.